Ephemeral monuments uh, is an oxymor. Installations uh, today have taken the role that monuments had once. Monuments had the role to communicate to people uh, important values uh, and to be understood by ev everyone. What is the oxymor with uh, the monuments? Uh, the monuments were thought to last. Uh, they were conceived in lasting materials such as marble or bronze. Installations are ephemeral monuments because they are Still, they are monuments, they are able to talk to the public, but they are um, ephemeral, they are not lasting. And this has also to do with the um, impossibility of sharing a long-lasting memory in contemporary society. We have lost uh, uh, a, a, a huge uh, heritage because all the, 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 the first installations in the 50s and in the 60s, almost all of them were destroyed. But then afterwards, it happened that uh, uh, after the, the artist's death, uh, installations were rebuilt by third parties and often without a philological approach. Uh, so I think that our role as museum people now is to find uh, uh, an easy to use way to document correctly an artwork in order to uh, save the right and the exact artist's intentions and not to change what the artist was meant to say. Installations are immersive. So uh the, the the spectator has to 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 get into the installation and and he is part of it because an installation without uh, without the public is is nothing so it's it's a, a work a kind of work which is defined by the presence uh, of the spectator and and this is so uh important uh, also because it permits uh, the time and the experience of the spectator to overlap uh, with the time and the experience of the work itself. So it's like a relational, a relational piece of art.